Welcome back. We have a great, great guest right now with us. Just some inspiring folks, uh, Allie Ladd and her husband, Ryan. Um, Allie was just on the Today Show um, holding a sign outside, got picked from the crowd, and uh, this has become a bigger moment than that. Uh, it's giving you a platform to, to share a mission. Welcome to both of you. We Thank appreciate you. you coming on. First of all, let's talk about this, this makeover and how <coughs> this came about. So we were on a trip in New York. My husband's been trying to get me away for a while now and I wouldn't agree. And so next thing I know, he booked a trip and said I had to go. So we went to New York and one of our things was to go on the Today Show and hold up a sign to hopefully get a shout out to our kids and just say hi and tell people about the Ladd family and what our mission is. And it was Ambush Makeover Day. So they came out and they chose me for the Ambush Makeover and they took us back and did our hair and pampered us, gave us an outfit and it was just, it was so fun and overwhelming. and. I can't believe that it happened to me. Well, you, and you look terrific, and, yes, you, and that your husband, you. I love this, <laughs> because it shows his love for you, but I mean, the whole moment was pretty incredible for you too, oh, wasn't it? It was amazing, it was just, uh, just such a surprise, and oh yeah, and then to take the blindfold off and see her standing there looking so beautiful, yeah, I just emotionally, you know, I'm a fireman, so I'm supposed to stay strong, but I Toast. lost it, I could yeah, yeah it that's was, right. It was well, even more meaningful. Um, talk about why you wanted her to go to New York, why you wanted her to get away. Y'all don't have a lot of time, I imagine, together. Tell us about your family dynamic. We, we've never been able to get away and uh, never have since uh, our daughter was diagnosed at nine months of age with a terminal <laughs> illness and then uh, two years later our son was born and he was diagnosed at, at three weeks of age and um, it's MPS1 hurler syndrome, and so for five years we haven't uh, we haven't left our kids, and uh, we've been in the hospital for almost three of those. Lived in Cincinnati for three of the five years, uh, going through their transplants and doing everything. So it was just uh, we've never got away. So I wanted her to uh, to get away and us have some time as husband and wife and uh, just enjoy our trip. That's big time That's for your husband awesome. to do that. What? <laughs> How was it? Did he do good? He did really good. I didn't, I wasn't involved much at all. I'm a micromanager to say the least. And so I was <laughs> I really worried about leaving the kids. So I was focused on leaving and what they were, what meals they were going to have and what they were going to do while we were gone. But once I got away and we got there, it was, good. it was great. All right. How can folks, how can our viewers watching right now help your children and children who have this disease, other children that have this disease? Raise awareness. So we started a nonprofit foundation and we're on a mission to raise awareness and we believe that awareness can find a cure. So we fund research and we also provide iPads to the kids that hurler kids that are going into bone marrow transplant. So you can go to www.candylad.org. You can find us on Facebook. You can just share just by sharing or telling someone else about MPS. It raises awareness just from the platform I had on the Today Show, other MPS families reaching out and just need to know where to start. And we just wanted to be, give people hope and show them that you can do this. It's gonna be extremely hard, but. And we just wanna pass that blessing along to other families. We were unbelievably blessed by our community and just people that didn't even know us. Um, so we wanna pass that blessing along to other families to try and help them. So we started a, a YouTube channel for the Kennedy Ladd Foundation. Awesome. And then That's we've great. also started a, a personal YouTube channel to help other families going into transpo transplant, because we had no idea. We, um, we had a little bit, but no idea. So we're telling our whole story from start to finish. Um, different episodes of, of what you're going to, wow. what the parents are going to face. a great resource because you really don't know and you're terrified at your children. I love that this has given you an even bigger platform. You certainly have a community supporting you, but now you have communities. Yes. One more time, the website so people can support you guys and help. It is kennedylad.org, K-E-N-N-E-D-Y-L-A-D-D.org. All right, and we will put a link on our website so you can share that as well. Thank you so much. Please Thank keep us guys. posted so on much. your children. I know that means the world to you. And thanks for sharing them yes. and sharing your story. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Come on anytime you want. It. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. So cool.